this is your girl Mizuki and welcome back to my channel. So today is sketch Monday but I'm not going to be doing sketch for you today. I'm going to be actually showing you my studio. So let's get to my studio tour. That way. Alright so here's my studio. Uh, to the left is my computer where I do all my graphic designs and then behind it is the uh, the digital graphic tablet where I work on all like say if I don't want to draw on here on by a uh, my mouse I can draw with my stylus and it will go to my computer I have two of them actually uh, I have one to the right and one to the left I'll show you the one on the right later but this one's a screen so whatever I see on my monitor I see on here uh, the next thing in my studio you can see here uh, let's just give you an overall of what my studio looks like right here all right so let's Get down to business so to the left I went through my computer I have my my um, travel bag right here with all the necessities I need on to go and I usually have everything on my pencils in there now the next uh, you see is my plush doll that I did release I have it right here uh, just to for decoration and motivation of what I've accomplished throughout the years I'm so sorry guys that's my dog with his toy all right let's continue and uh, over here I have a basket full of stickers like uh, if you saw how to create stickers this is my box where I have all the uh, paper stickies here so these are all from the post office I have some from that say hello my name is my tag is hello my name is the next thing we're gonna go I have here uh, my golden paint which is not supposed to be there close this up but okay so I have these containers here so I have uh, on the first one is a pair of gloves all my glove material there and then I used to do jewelry so I have like most of my tools in here same thing here these are all stuff that I don't really go to anymore over here I have some needed erasers I have here a whole bunch of them which I do like using them as you can see I have a whole ton of them here see and then I also have my blenders here. I purchased these. I haven't really used them much. Sharpener there. And then I have here just regular pens. These are just pens. So say if I need a pen, this is where I would go to to get my pens. And here are regular pencils like lead pencils. But these are not my drawing pencils. The next thing right here I have like... A photo of a couple of friends of mine, me, Mers, and Zero, and then I have here some just regular stuff that I stuffed in here. Uh, same thing here, and these are also more tools. Uh, if you guys saw this, this is uh, if you guys do acrylic paint or oil paint. This is in bad. This is like soap to clean your brushes. I got this middle mini one, the travel size, and then I got the big one for here next next uh, shelf up is all my color pencils here I have my color pencils I have um let's see let me take my book down here so I have my Prisma color my 72 set here and then I have the oh ho ho or hoo hoo oh hoo hoo oh ho ho a set here as well and then I have this little thing I got for free from Wish. I give this to like the kids when they come over. The next set I have, it's 122 set from Fabrel Castell. This is one of my favorites. And the one that I, and then I have these here. And then I have, uh, well, before this shit comes out. And I have my watercolor set, my 72 set, which I like a lot as well. If you guys want me to review any of my items, just let me know and I will gladly review some of them. Well, all of them if you guys want me to. I don't mind. Continue now to the left side of that shelf. I have all my watercolor and I have all my pastels, my oil pastels and things like that. So I have my watercolors up on the top and then my oil pastels on the bottom. All right, so let's continue back to the bottom floor. On the top shelf is nothing really. It's just papers and uh, my filing cabinet basically is up there. So we're going to go back down here. So right here, I have my mouse. 
for my computer in case I need it. Here, I have my uh, color set, my uh, pencil set. Here, I rarely use it because I like to go to lead pencil, but if I just bought it, I really liked it, and I still use it sometimes. The next thing I have here is my flexible point signed pen brush. This is a watercolor marker set, my first watercolor marker set. So I keep it in the box still. I don't want to put it in here because they are tiny and they'll get lost in my case marker collection here. So the next thing is, I'm pretty sure you guys want to know, this is Pantone Universe. They, do no, they no longer make these. I bought these about maybe four years ago. And I do like them a lot. The only thing is they do dry out and I can't really get any replacements for them. So I just, some of them are dried out, some of them are still good. But I like to keep them like this because they look really nice in my studio. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get to the marker collection here. Okay, so let's go through the first floor. So the first floor I have is Oh Ho Ho. Oh, there you go. So I, I bought the 40 piece, but I did so do want to go back and get the 80 piece. The 80 piece is $39.99 and the 40 piece is $19.99. Are you going to focus? There you go. So if you guys are interested, I will put the link down below if you guys want to purchase this. I did a review on them and they're really good. As you can see right here, look at the set. I put them in like nice color coordinated. Pretty full. So the next one we are gonna go. This is mostly paint marker. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> My bad, guys. So this is a paint marker. It's called Deco Color. So I have a few of them here, and these are just paint markers. These aren't regular markers. So uh, they have the little ball inside. I have a few of them. I have mixed in here with Sharpie, but all of these are all paint markers in here. Uh, the next one is a uh, Pantone when I got them when this is my first set when I got them and I fell in love with them So I have them here. Obviously uh, They didn't have room in here when I bought the whole case. So uh, I have some duplicates the next thing Here is I just ordered this so I'm gonna be reviewing them, but it's another linear pen set It's uh, from Japan and Yeah, no these are bomb Neo Pico, I would have to say these are amazing, but I'm going to show you why they're amazing in the next video when I review them. Because I only owned this one right here, the brush, and I fell in love with it, so I wanted to order the whole set on Amazon. So I, don't, I have two empty spaces here. I'm going to fill that up. We're going to go up to the second level. So I just recently purchased these from Blick. I'm going to also do a review on them because I do own the Copic um sketch now i purchased the copic chow if you focus on it hello this is the copic chow <laughs> it doesn't want to focus and i just started using these and i love them so much so i definitely gonna do a cool review on these i got all the gray tone well, I'm missing like two gray tones but I got all the warm tones I have some of the cool tones and I have a lot of the skin tones because I wanted back into anime and yeah so the next one uh, I reviewed as well here I have the uh, S uh, STA aquarel brush set now these are watercolor markers so I have here next one is obviously you know is Prisma I haven't used these in a long time but I like to have them in my collections they have not dried out they're really good the next one on I have my original touch touch twin marker here and it has the uh, brush tip and it has the broad tip here and I also have the black series of the touch and this one has same, this one has the fine tip and the broad tip. So the white one comes with the brush and the black one comes in with the fine. Now the next one is is same thing touch. Oh, let me grab it here. Touch fine. Uh touch 5. So this one is touch twin markers and this is touch 5 markers. 
All right here and this one I only have in white and this one is the fine and the broad tip. The next one is by an artist that I follow. It's actually by a crew. So this one is by uh, Tats Crew. They made their own marker. It's called Mural Kings High Quality Marker. And so this one comes in with a fine and a chisel tip as well. And yeah, so far so good. These are not blendable just to let you know if you guys decide to purchase this i don't think they make them anymore but i'm gonna look for the link in my description box so we're gonna go up to the next level here the next level i have mostly all my fine points mostly not all of them so the first one i have here is by prisma here this is a prisma color premiere so this one has like a brush tip as you can see right here it shows you what oops it shows you what type of tip it is right here so i have the whole set i have a couple of them here and then i have like a mix of stuff here and um i also have another neopico but this one's color uh these are cool and then the next one i got from wish that i did review this is just a regular line marker the next one is my eraser. This is my colorless section here, even though I have a colorless right here. But this one is just like right there. Next one, I have my Prisma colors that are in gray. And then I have my Copic Sketch here. Uh, all my gray tones because they didn't fit up on the top. So I put them here. The next one is my uh, Studio. What is this? Uh, Still below 0.88. I have the whole collection, but I found out that they did release more like they have a lot of the neon colors out and then i have like my metallics here that i reviewed my metallic pen and then i have like a studio um no uh what is this recollections as well like these are just all fine points so oh this is the other way i don't i'm very like organized with my stuff and the next one is another watercolor set that i reviewed from wish i bought this from wish this is the watercolor brush set here by touch 10 and yeah so these are good i keep them all in here and sometimes it gets stuck there you go put them in there the next level is now my fine i'm gonna go to my fine all right so the next one is mostly my line markers here I'm going to stick this one here. Uh, so this one is from Monotone. This is my black linear line. I did review them. So I have the whole collection here. All the way from thin to the thickest one. So that's that. And then I have my Copic, which I am missing some. So this is my Comic. Comic my Copic multi-liner. Uh, I have most of it, but I, I think I'm missing like three. So I have them here. And the reason why I have them in the rubber bang is because I can put them in my travel kit, take them to go. So that's why, because these are my go-to. And this is my go-to as well. This should be up there, but they don't fit. I like the case on these. I can open them like a book. The next one is I have a Liquitex here, which doesn't belong here, but I'm just going to leave it here. This is a paint marker, which all the paint markers are here. And I have my black prisma color here because it doesn't fit in here the next one i have like my mini um editing markers here and i also have a paint small paint liquitex marker there as well let me put this this way the next one i have my crank collection right here i have all the colors uh i haven't ordered any more next one is just regular gel pens Alright, continuing with my lines, uh, my line pens, I do have a couple of the microns. Oops, I have a couple of the microns. I do not use these as much as my new ones here, my Copic and my Molotone. And I have the Neopic. I have those and I also have, uh, where is this one? I also have these. So what I have here is my miscellaneous. I have a several uh, linear markers here. I have a couple of them from Neo Pico, and I have uh, recollections and a pen, Len pen, and I have Sharpie. So these are just my miscellaneous. The next one I have is my Copic. I have my Copic in sepia. 
the color sepia and in black i only have a few in the collections the next one is my uni pin from uh, from wish so that's another set here same thing with here i have my copic wide marker here i have my brush my brush water brush sets here keep them there these are all my white markers my silvers and my golds the next one let me back up a bit is my copic this is the only amount that i have so far other than the ones from here and then uh the gray tones here but these are my colors i'm planning on getting more later on now what i have on top is a couple of stuff that i've created um I have my DIY here, I have my own toy here, which is uh, an image of me with my Zuki helmet. This one was a gift from a friend, spray can. It even has a little ball in it, you know. <laughs> on my mini book, which I'm going to be doing uh, sometimes for New Year. For YouTube, I'm going to be doing like a mini book sketch, so I have a couple I did already. Uh, next one is my sketch, a print. These are my plushes here. Uh, the one in the back is from an artist, uh, Martelicia. She's amazing. Uh, next, so the next thing we're gonna go to is more markers. As you can see here, it's a. This is my tripod for my phone. So when I go on live on Instagram, I could have something to hold my phone. So the next markers are my Molotones, you already saw here, this is the full collection, the old full collection, they added more pigments. Now the bottom here are all Sharpies from fine point all the way to regular point to the thickest point here on the bottom. Same thing here, I have some miscellaneous markers like these guys here. Sharpie here, I have um, deco color here as well. A lot of the paint markers. I also have my acrylic Montana. Uh, some of them I haven't popped yet. These I, I haven't yet either. These I have, so I still have a few here. And then I have my Geno Genobo. These are cool too. All right, so the next one, I have a couple of stickers here. Um, I have my webcam tablet here this is the second one that i have this one doesn't have a screen so this one is a portable one obviously my big one isn't a portable one so this one is if, if i want to watch tv and just uh sketch on the couch this is my go-to here is uh my portfolio uh of all my prints here so i keep this here i also have my photo booth box here with my led light on the top if you see my Instagram, I took a couple po uh, pictures of my recent piece for a show, Lolly Gag, and this is amazing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, over here, I just have, like, uh, just my knife here. Um, I also have, like, my highlighters in here, just regular little knickknacks. The next thing I have here is a lot of paper like uh, recycled paper i like to doodle and over here is a whole bunch of papers so if i wanted to draw on something small like a little postcard smaller than a postcard i go there here are my brushes behind here are just all my airbrush paint i have some acrylic paint here the second s shelf i have is my book and more sketchbooks here on this side and then from here on now it's just like regular uh other other books here like i have camille de erico i have uh chris rinnick uh, i have another one from camilla and i have here draw realistic faces back when i was um in school now up here I have my Charmander that I got from New York Comic Con. I have my dollar here. And then over here, I just have all my acrylic paints. Top shelf is just some um, boxes. Onto the, the bottom shelf, I have over here, I have just my envelopes, just some, a lot of packing stuff when I sent out orders, uh, my uh, cups to put water in when I uh, do some acrylic paint. Over here, I have my. Um, 
pastels here my dry pastels not my oil pastels these are called soft pastels uh, here is um, a couple of graphite just regular stuff like that and here I have a glitter and my so you can, it's just basic stuff here my stamps uh, boxes it's empty here over here I have like a whole bunch of set of trays where I actually add some paints in here when I paint I put like a drop of a uh, color and that's where I paint from if I don't want to use the recyclable paper here I have oh, my camera's going crazy here I have a couple wooden panels that I was gonna work on I have this I went to Blick and I bought a couple of things so I'm gonna also review that my Blick haul but I'm not showing you until later. So here is most of my print sleeves. So I have the bigger size here and then similar sizes here. I even have the harder cases up here with some sheets, card, uh, game card toppers, and more. I have on the right side paper, more paper, and paper down here. My rulers over here, my paper cutter. One last thing before I finish my tour is I got this uh, case here where I have some of the stuff that I do use, some I don't use. So, so the first drawer I have is all my brushes. See all my brushes here. So if I need an extra brush, I come here. The next one, I'm not going to open it. This is just all my acrylic paint and my oil paints. I don't really paint a lot as often as I should. But when I do have a show, I do come here and I, I paint. Next one is just miscellaneous things that just to clean up my studio. I put everything in this one because it was empty. This one is more of... Um, uh, this is more of like hanging stuff for my show if I need anything tools the next one is uh, This one is most of the tools like hot tools got my hot glue gun And here I have most of my sculpting tools when I do clay Last one is just tape and hot glue gun stuff and glue and tape So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you enjoyed my studio tour. I didn't want to make it long i just wanted to make it a really clean cut this is where i have my stuff acrylic casings that i have there that store my markers i definitely gonna put that down below because i know a lot of you do collect markers like i do so this is a cool idea to how to set up your marker collection that that's it any other stuff that you guys want me to do let me know down below. Don't forget to comment and subscribe mostly. And for you, my new followers, love you and thank you for subscribing. And all for all my old followers, you guys rock. Continue commenting down below. I know you guys are amazing supporters. But yeah, this girl's out.